Where have you been all day? All right. Thought I'd take a run out to Belmont. There was a horse running. Yes, and he's still running. Or you wouldn't be looking me up. Oh, cut the nagging, kid. This horse was a sure thing. Left at the post, I suppose. No, lost by a nose. Gee, Lenny, if I don't... Well, big boy, that's just too bad. For this sure thing is through shelling out. Hello. Miss Grant? And Mr. Malvern's on his way up. Gee, thanks, kid. Scram! Malvern's on his way up. Where did you get back? I didn't know I'd been away. I didn't mean out of town. I meant back to the Follies. I hear you've been doing a turn in the legitimate. Meaning just what? You know what I mean. Gloria Dawn. Right you are, Annie, dear. I'm signing a contract for life. Settling up my old account. You mean... You're giving me the air? You can't do it! I won't have it! Do you hear me? You can't do it! You can't! <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-five grand. Well, if he thinks he'll get away with that. The dirty piker. Now, <laughs> oh, Rennie. Now, oh, Rennie, wait a minute. Listen, get away from guy... me! Oh, what's the guy gonna do with a dame like you are? Look at those clouds, Jim. Dark and glowering. Then trailing off into golden sunshine. That's our lives, Gloria, drifting together. The dark clouds of my life being eliminated by the sunshine of your love. Why, Jim? You're really romantic. So help me. I really believe the governor's going to settle down. Oh, yeah, until the next one comes along. How are you, Martin? Welcome home, Mr. Glad to see you home, Mr. Mel. Come, boys, get the baggage. Another of Florida's beauties. Oh, your dog? Gloria, this is Jack Halliday, our next door neighbor. How do you do? I realize one shouldn't break in on a honeymoon, but I had to meet Gloria Dawn. You must come over and get acquainted with Gloria Malvern. 
I intend to. Very well, young man. What is it about a man carrying his bride across the threshold? Lonesome, dear. Lonesome? Darling, I was never happier in all my life. <laughs> Long distance is calling, Mr. Malvern. Thanks. Hello? Hello? Hello, Brown. What are you doing in Florida? The gang? Fine. I'll tell you. All right. We'll sail over tomorrow and pick you up around noontime. All right. Goodbye. Well, dear, some old friends have decided to butt in on our honeymoon. We'll pick them up in the morning. Who are they? Oh, a crowd who spend their winters down here. Fine fellows, all of them. you like them. This is Bromwell Jones, one of my best friends. Mrs. Malvern, welcome to our city. Where did you get that? Good old Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mary Lou. Hello, Gloria, this is Mary Lou. Hello. And Susan Jane. How do you do? So How glad to have you. Hello, Doctor. How do you do? And this is Doctor. Hello, everybody. Oh, uh, eh, 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 excuse me. I'm Dr. Soames, Mrs. Martin. I'm so glad to have you I'm here. I'm very glad to be here. Hello, Jim. Hello, Anne. Well, this is a surprise. What are you doing here? Is that nice? I came to join your party. Well, you're welcome. Can you beat it? Anne Cabot, of all people. I read about your nosedive. Oh, well. One has to get married sometime, you know. You didn't think that way when you knew me. Did you? I do hope you like Florida, Mrs. Marvin. Thank you. I like it already. Gloria. Yes, dear? I want you to meet an old friend of mine, Ann Cabot. Ann, this is Gloria. How do you do, Miss Cabot? Mrs. Marvin, I can scarcely believe it. Believe what, Miss Cabot? I mean that... Any woman could put a halt on Jim Malvern. 
I wouldn't call marriage a halter, Miss Carter. And it's time for a cocktail. And two more, if you don't mind. Marriage is called for heavy drinking. So you're an old friend of Jim's? Why, yes. Jim and I have been kicking around together for years. You know, just pals. Hello, Anne. How are you? Able to take nourishment from me. And speaking of nourishment... Yes. Yeah. Always wanting something that belongs to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Rather brazen of Anne, coming here after that scandal with Jim. <laughs> Husband, sweetheart and wife, all shuffled up on one deck. Pardon me. Won't you please? Certainly. I don't think she likes me. Nonsense. Thrilled to see me again. <laughs> you put it mildly, Anne. Tell me, Jim, why did you marry her? She's pretty and charming, and I was lonely and I fell for her. Did you have to... All right, Captain. All right, boys, shove off. Well, I was good enough to beat you. Never mind. Wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Two. What are you going to have to drink? I'll have a highball. Right. Say, uh, oh, Jim. You better make won't you have a drink? My wild no, I referee your next match. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you. You have to return some match. One way of winning. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Jimmy's up to his old tricks again. Don't be ridiculous. Well, Brown's right. If ridiculous, why a crowd at a honeymoon? Perhaps Jim's jealous of Halliday. Well, Halliday is a handsome brute. Jim is only using Anne as a foil. Mm-hmm. Tin foil. But what does that make of us? Oh, now, Brown. Oh, nurse. Come on, let's have a drink. Yes, let's. Have a drink. <laughs> beauty for a lovely lady. Thank you. So long, I was hoping I was rid of you. Yeah? I've been spending a quiet ten days in the country. What part of the country? Well, the most fashionable part. Florida. 
You mean that you? Oh, now, don't get excited. I'm going to hand you the biggest laugh of your life. Lay off of that stuff. I warned you to stay away from Melvin. You're not going to shake him down. Oh, now, don't be crazy. I'm not going to try and jack him down on your account. Then you're going about it in another way. I can read you like a book, Wheeler. I tell you I won't have it. Oh, now, listen, Rennie. I'm doing this for you. He can't chuck you and get away with you it. You lay off of him. If I didn't save a steak, that's my own fault. I've got some pride left. And you're not going to shake him down. Well, if you think I'm going to let that big stiff throw you down cold, you're mistaken. Come on. Come across with some dough. What do you want me to do? Walk? Come on. Oh, no, you don't. Come on. Let yeah. me go. Let me go. In the blonde Venus. Hey, fellas, come on. Oh, boy. We were waiting for this. Gee, whiz. Come on, get it off. Hurry up. Come on. Get it off, man. Come on. What's the matter? Get it off, man. Come on. What's the matter? Get it off, man. Come on. No, you're too fast for me. Say, if you come in tomorrow, I'll teach you a new stroke. I'd love to see it. Show it to me now. All right. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Ann. Where's your charming wife? You know very well where she is. With Halliday, as usual. That's where you want her to be, isn't it? Yes, if I could be sure of you. We're not as far apart as you think. Ann, do you mean that? I'm not making any promises. But we can drink to it. Just wait in the bar room.
have the drink. What's the matter with you? Well, I don't care for any more, Jim. It's all yours. Is he still drinking? Yes. And he's in an ugly mood. I can't stand it any longer. Oh, Gloria, isn't there anything I can do to help? I love you. Oh, I know I haven't any right. But I'm going to Melvin now. Please don't, Jack. He's dangerous. Now, don't you worry. I'm not afraid of him. Melvin, I'd like to talk to you alone, if you don't mind. Right. Jim, you don't know this bird. He's a pretty fast worker. Yeah. Tried to make love to me this afternoon. Well, that's a lie. Oh, no, it isn't. Not content with making love to my wife. You have to insult this lady. I've never insulted her. And as for your wife, yes, I... Yes, I know, I know. You're in love with her. Well, that's what I came here to talk to you about. Why, you... This is the end. I'm going to divorce you. Oh, so you can marry Halliday, eh? If he asks me to. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Maybe he wouldn't want to marry you now. Hey, don't go over here. Melvin, if you ever couple my name with your wife's again, I'll kill you. My little playthings frighten you, Anne? Playthings? Snapping and fighting that way? That's why I like them. They get what they go after. It certainly makes short work of anything they got hold of. Smart fellows. Oh, let's go back to the house. Besides, Gloria might notice our absence. Where were you, dear? I've been looking for you. Enjoying yourself? Yes. Are you? Of course. I love to be with my old friends. So I see. Hello. How are you? How are you? How are you? What a gay body you have here this morning. Try to anyway. What are you going to do, Joe? I'm going to beat my wife. Oh, Joe. A public thrashing? <laughs> and how? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Long tennis? Yes. <laughs> There goes Drum following his favorite sport, tipping the merry elbow. <laughs> Jim, how about some fishing? The bass are running. 
No, I, uh, I have some wires to get off. Why don't you take Gloria? She's very anxious to learn to paddle a canoe. Well, I'd be delighted. Would you care to go, Mrs. Malvern? Yes. You're doing fine. I think I'll try my luck here, Mrs. Melbourne. Well, while you're fishing, I'm going to lend a mouse to this tippy thing alone. All right. Are you feeling better now, Glo uh, Mrs. Malvern? Much better, thanks. It was stupid of me to venture away alone. Two diamonds. Two diamonds. Yeah. I've been two diamonds. Oh, three diamonds. You have to see, don't you have to bid three diamonds when you bid three hearts? Uh, Certainly is a four bit three diamonds. Four diamonds. Diamond. Four diamonds. Three hard words. Three hard Oh, I passed. What is five? Seven hearts. Seven hearts. Seven hearts. Four diamonds. Four diamonds. Four diamonds. Four diamonds. Four diamonds. Where is Gloria? Oh, she went fishing with Jack Halliday. Oh. Did you say fishing? I wonder what Gloria and Halliday are doing. Probably nothing. They're both too virtuous. Mm. I'd worry a lot more if you were with him. What's the matter, Jack? Oh, I thought I fell in the water. <laughs> <laughs> How careless. They picked a mossy spot, but a wet one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you nearly lost your wife, Jim. It was stupid of me, dear, but I almost stepped on an alligator, and I fainted. You certainly picked a messy spot for it. Thanks, Halliday. Come on, get some dry clothes on. 
I seem to be all wet. <laughs> <laughs> so, little Miss Fixit gets it right on the chin. <laughs> come on, Brom, it's your beard. Oh, Bob, come and take Marvin, please, will you? I think I said, all right, hold on. Three notes, three notes, three notes. What is that? What is your beard? Tough luck, Wheeler. You sure were a heavy loser today. Oh, yeah? Well, let me tell you something. There's always dough in my treasury, and tomorrow's another day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hi, good. Hiya, oh. Charlie. How about buying a guy a drink? Why, sure, Wheeler. Join us. Molly's throwing the party. I want you to meet Kate Jones. Hiya. Hiya, Kate. This is Molly Smith. Hi. Hiya, Molly. Say, Wheeler. Molly kind of likes your profile. Uh, yeah? Well, what's that make me? Say, listen, big boy. The sky's the limit. I cleaned up today. So eat, drink, and make whoopee. Well, I'm glad somebody won. I'll have a drink with you, but I can't make it a party tonight. Oh, sweet man. How about giving a local gal a break? Huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> I hate to be breaking up the party, but I got some unfinished business to attend to. Oh. oh, but I might give you a break sometime at that, kid. I'll be seeing you. So long. Have a drink, dear? No. You're welcome. Well, what, what, what's on your mind? I'm going back to New York tomorrow. <laughs> you quitting? Yes. Leaving you flat. Oh, what's the idea? I've come to my senses. So, you've fallen for Halliday too, have you? Hmm? <laughs> Not if I have. You're a fool. Maybe I am. But I'm willing to take my chances on it. You haven't a chance. Oh, this is an awful mess and I want to get out. Don't be a fool, Anne. You know I love you. You never loved any woman. What are you laughing at? Your inability to hold your women. Well, what are you going to do about it? I'm getting rid of you too. Gloria. I've been a rocker. I'm sorry. Let's start over again. It's too late. Oh, you can't leave me now. Please, forgive me. I, I'll, I'll never look at another woman. Let me go. Let me go. I won't let you go. I've got you and I'm going to keep you.
What a fight. Was there a fight? Was there a fight? <laughs> you should have seen that Halliday demonstrate who belonged to who. Really? I'm not so sure about that. Uh, what do you mean? Ann Cabot is leaving. Oh, the thick platen, huh? The, the plat thick. The, 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 let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> He's breathing, Doc. Better take him to his room. Melbourne. I thought it was suicide. But this gun was fully loaded. Can you tell me where the Melbourne estate is? Yes, on Bayshore Drive. We'll find a taxi around the building, Mitch. Thank you. the question, Doctor? In just a moment. Mr. Malvin, tell us how it happened. You see those three people standing there so mournfully 
It might have been any one. No one leaves this house until this murder is fully investigated. Search those grounds. Where were you, Mrs. Malcolm, when the shot was fired? I was in my room, packing. Going somewhere? Yes, to New York. Did you have any words with your husband this afternoon? I was leaving him. I intended to divorce him. But you didn't. And you're still his wife. And of course, you will inherit the estate. Wait a minute, Sullivan. Oh, yeah? Well, sister, what relation were you to the deceased? No relation. And where were you when the shot was fired? I was also in my room, packing. Oh, you were going away too, eh? Were you going away together? We were, we were not. You two don't like each other, do you? And you, Halliday, were you going to New York too, among the ladies? I didn't even know the ladies were going until just now. Any idea why Mr. Malvern should name you in this accusation? Not the slightest. He must have been out of his mind. It's silly to think that I wanted to kill him. That's the lie. What do you mean by that? Just what I say. Yesterday, they had a fight down at the pool. He knocked Mr. Malvern down, and I heard him threaten to kill him. It was a misunderstanding. I did threaten him, but I was angry. Angry at what? Malvern's treatment of his wife. Well, I'm sorry, but I'll have to hold you both for murder. Just a minute, Sullivan. If you're going to hold anybody, hold me. I must see Mr. Malvern right away. Mr. Malvern? Yes, Mr. Malvern. Come right this way, miss. Miss Rennie Grant to see Mr. Malvern. Who screamed? There's someone in that pool. Is that one of your folks? No, sir. Indeed it won't. Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Malvin. Where are you from? I happen to be from New York, Mr. Dick. What's it to you? Not a thing. But it might mean a lot to you. Mr. Malvin has been murdered. Murdered? That's a gun. I wonder who it was. I told you this place was haunted. Let's Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. And so I, I came down here to warn Mr. Malvin against Johnson. I'm sorry I was too late.
I fish these out of the alligator swamps. That's all that's left of somebody. I found this gun line on the bank with one shell exploded. What's the matter with you? Did you ever see these before? Yes. They belong to... to Willa Johnson. And that's that. Well, that's all, Mr. Halliday. I guess you folks would like to be alone. Come on, Mac. That Greg said, a little while of thee and me, and then no more of you.